This is your first take-home performance task. Now remember, take-homes are designed to reinforce prior algebra skills, so I want you to get as much help as you need to maximize your score on this. Also realize that take-home performance points are scored like tests, so these points are weighted like test points, and everybody should be getting 100 on these. So let's take a look at what we have here. Um, there's a problem like this in chapter one. It's problem number 127. So if you'd like to review that problem before we start, that would be a good idea. This information tells you how to solve algebraic equations. So this is just a reminder. This is, for most of you, a review. Well, for all of you, this should be review. And this first example is a solved solution. So I'm going to do, I'm going to ask you to read that example and notice that there's a check in this example. And then I'm going to show you the formatting for exercises 1 through 20 by doing exercise one for you. So when you start this exercise, you'll read the written prompt here. And as a warm up, I suggest you copy the solved exercises on some note paper. and then format your formal submission this way, the way I'm going to do number one for you. So you can print this handout if you'd like, or you can work right from the screen, because the first thing you're going to do just put your name at the top of the page, followed by the heading, Unit 1, Take Home Performance. And then number each exercise and work vertically. And I'll show you what I mean by that as I complete number one. First step is to copy the original problem. So take a look on the second page of the handout. Number one says 2x minus 3 equals the opposite of x plus 3. I'm going to step one, copy the original. Step two, combine like terms. So from 2x minus 3 equals the opposite of x plus 3, I'd like to add x to both sides so that all my x terms are on the left side of the equation. I'm going to continue to combine like terms and notice that I'm showing in each step the addition that I'm doing, followed by the result. 3x equals 6. I'm going to use the division property of equality to divide both sides by 3. And I will have a result, x equals 2. In order to show that I know that x must equal 2, I'm going to include, and so are you, I'm going to include the check. 2 everywhere there's an x in the original equation I'm going to replace it with the solution that I believe is correct and that in this case is 2. So is it true that 4 minus 3 equals negative 2 plus 3? Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. Is it true that 1 equals 1? 
Yes, it's true. So I have a result, x equals 2, and I have a check that I have performed, and I've shown that in my work. You will complete 2 through 20 and you will submit these formally. In other words, I need to be able to read them and I need to be able to follow your thinking. So the first one took less than two minutes to solve. So pace yourselves to get through about 40 minutes worth of exercises between now and next Friday. So accuracy will be graded. Formatting will be graded. And neatness will be considered in the grade for this exercise.